let's go back a year ago. That, you know, we could root for Memphis, and it felt like they were an underdog story. Uh, certainly, you were getting highlights from them and Jaw every night, and, you know, we were rooting for them and him. And then all of a sudden, I just I saw them change as if they had been the Golden State Warriors, like they were cocky. You know, they hadn't won anything, and I don't know if you noticed the change in John Morant as well. Did, did this all just happen uh, with John the last year and nothing else attached to it? Brighter lights, Dan. Uh, just, just brighter lights. I mean, you know, covering the Grizzlies over the past two seasons, from a personality perspective, from Ja and the team, uh, this is who he's been. This is who the team been in terms of, you know, playing with that, you know, that flamboyant style, you know, that, that, that confidence, you know, all the alley-oops, all of the, you know, the trash talking. They were trash talking everyone last season the same way that they are this season. But last season, they were the darlings, right? They were this up-and-coming team. Wow, they're not afraid of the Warriors. They're not afraid of this team. They're not afraid of Kevin Durant. But then this year, it's like, <laughs> what have these guys done? Like, why are they talking? So, so it's it's kind of a different perspective of how people view the Grizzlies. But getting back to more in the case of John Morant, uh, this is he he kind of is a is a different type of person, Dan. He, in a way, you know, with all the social media things that he does, he prides himself on being one of the few athletes. This is something he said. He prides himself on being one of the few athletes who will show you his real life. You know, he he doesn't hide the fact that he'll go out sometimes late at night. But guess what? He'll let you know that he's going to get up early that next morning, you know, to get back in the gym and things like that. So this is this is no secret, you know, uh, to, to us uh, on who he has been. But it's more of the, you know, the outside antics and some of those things kind of accumulating to the point where now everyone's saying, Ja, you know, you have to take a step back.